Greetings one and all. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Uh, my talk today focuses on transport challenges when it comes to cars, and in this case, Tesla. Bonjour, vigues, vis takes no kemal svaimen, faibainen, strazviche, ni hao ma, bonjourno, guten dag. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Today's talk is kind of uh, unusual slash interesting. One of the most fun things I've had in my career over life is having a chance to talk with experts on any topic and how one question from that person can result in a whole bunch of knowledge behind it. So one quick example is there was an, there was an accident near my house in California one day involving a highway worker who was hit by a truck. and an experienced highway worker looked at me and he said, uh, you know, it's a shame when they hire contractors because employees of the utility always have a large truck behind them as they do any work on the freeway, so those accidents never happen. So I was impressed at how the nature of the accident and the injury and death of the employees immediately told an expert what the deal was. And so that brings us to my conversation today about the fact that um, Tesla, Tesla's transportation method kind of doesn't make sense, is not best practices for the cost of their vehicles. So what this is about is the fact that um, I've, I took a photo, uh, had a friend take a photo at the factory a few days ago, and as you'll notice, the truck uh, over my shoulder has a number of Model X's on it and Tesla has elected to put coverings on the front grill and on the rear grill of the vehicle while it was in transport but um, other than that there's no covering on the car so it's entirely possible that they've done sort of uh, a film that can be washed off at the end you know there are other methods that one could use if you have an open uh, ship of a vehicle like that, but even if you do have some kind of thin uh, film coating, the problem you have is there are a number of issues that can pop up. For example, um, what if a bird over the top takes a dump on your vehicle, now you have that acid sitting there until it's washed off when it reaches its destination. Another possibility is um, road grime. Just the fact that as a truck is moving down, there'll be rocks and other uh, debris that will fall off other vehicles or bounce up from the road and can hit the side of the vehicle. Um, you know, it probably wouldn't be a big deal, but there's some uh, damage that might come from this um, vehicle being transported in this fashion. Um, for the real experts, they could go deeper and deeper into the list of bad things that happen when you have a vehicle that's being transported in an open container as Tesla does with their vehicles. So to my understanding, the way things work, at least in the United States, is the higher the price of the car, uh, the more likely that the transportation of the vehicle is always enclosed. So when I saw this Tesla situation, I was kind of surprised because I got a Volvo 20 years ago in 1986. And um, at that time, uh, there was a company called Swift, and they ship cars only inside of enclosed spaces. So the walls of the truck will actually not have any um, real walls. It's a canvas. But nonetheless, it prevents debris from flying up onto the vehicle and damaging the paint. Um, the image I chose on the thumbnail was this of a, was that of a Lamborghini, and I would say that um, most, if not all, the Lamborghinis and Ferraris and everything, every vehicle that's worth more than around one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the United States, is is transported by an enclosed. Uh, um, uh, transportation vehicle to prevent all these issues because one chip of the paint could result in you having to repaint the entire car. So, you know, you could go through more scenarios as to why you might damage the paint, etc. 
and it's worth considering transporting internal. But if Tesla offers the option, I'd encourage you to pay a few hundred dollars extra for the transportation of your vehicle to ensure that it's only carried in an enclosed setting. Um, the other option you have is simply to take delivery at the factory and then pay uh, a transportation company to load it on an enclosed transport to your destination. I have to admit another thing I did not like about seeing how the cars are transported is you'll notice that they've attached a front and rear sort of large um, styrofoam device to pre prevent damage to the front or rear of the vehicle in transport. And one of my concerns is the fact that Tesla's paint is notoriously um, delicate in the first 60 days after it's gone to the paint shop. So one of the issues that pops up is um, if the manner of attachment sort of affects the paint there, you may see the connection points where it, it's not looking as good. So one thing I would do on delivery of my vehicle, and you might want to consider this, is to make sure you do a full loop around the car um, at each level and make sure that there aren't road and travel related damages that are on the vehicle that you'll find when you get home so that you can refuse delivery. Another reason why I was surprised to see Tesla make the decision to not have enclosed transport throughout uh, to get to customers is it turns out that when you have a car, any car, but especially an aluminum car like Tesla is, um, when you paint the car initially, that first coating of paint um, is going to adhere to the vehicle better than if, if it has to be repainted. So the fact that you wouldn't do everything you can to prevent repainting is a surprise to me because at a glance or a human eye, you won't be able to tell the damage and repair work necessary. But for an experienced paint person, they can tell when the car has had to be repainted based on fi fixing dings or scratches. Another sort of aspect of what I think was interesting about watching the delivery of the vehicle is to encourage you to note where Tesla is putting um, sort of styrofoam containers. And the reason is that I think it's really a good idea to also consider um, uh, putting a, a clear plastic on those spots of the vehicle to help also in preventing damage. I want to thank you for your viewership. This is Greg at Tesla Fan Insight. Look forward to your comments. And um, just again noting that it's a good idea to carefully manage uh, this issue of transportation process on your car. Thanks and have a great day.